Yo, okay, I don't know why my, my mic was off. I'm so sorry, my dudes. No idea why the mic was off. <laughs> Dude, I didn't realize. I'm so sorry, boys. But yeah, we got some like NPC music playing in the background just for back sound. This is like very NPC. All right. I sorry. Sorry for mute. Sorry. I didn't know it was muted. I'm very sorry. I don't know. For some reason, OBS decided to like reset all my settings. But yeah, we back. What's up, guys? Back from the holidays. I miss you dudes so much, bro. Seriously. I'm going to try to stream every single day. I do not want to, like, you know, f stop streaming or, like, uh, miss streaming like we did the last few weeks because of MPL. Even during MPL, I want to try to stream as much as possible. Maybe I'll try to do some IRL streams. Maybe I try to do every everything, uh, all the other things. But, yeah. Where have you been, Mirko? You missed a lot of interesting MPL PH games. Yeah, bro. I was out just enjoying my holiday. We did re uh, restream the first week of MPL PH when MPL ID was down. But then MPL PH week four. Was it week four yesterday? But we, we didn't get week four. And yes, there were some crazy matches, dude. AP Bren lost to Onyx PH. And then Echo lost to... Who did Echo lose to? Minana? Gee, bro. So did you see my newest Insta post? No, I did not, Shen. Why? Did you get promoted to MPL Malaysia? Are you are you going to MPL Malaysia, bro? Mr. Shenny. Trying to find you on IG. Hold up. Hold up, hold up. What's up with your new post, bro? Hi, Mirko. What's up? Yo, what's up, everybody? Onyx versus Echo, Mirko. Yeah, Onyx. Wait, wait. Did Echo lose to Onyx? To Onyx PH? When we up upload about week four MPL ID, we will upload it tomorrow, guys. Okay? So the upload will be coming out tomorrow. No worries. Onyx on a hot streak? Yeah, bro. Onyx are on a hot streak. It's Kamai New Year. Yo, happy new year to all my Kamai viewers. Happy New Year, my dudes. Yeah, 2 0. Bro, what's your thoughts on Pablo Jab? When is MPL ID coming back? MPL ID will be coming back this week, 19th of April. We back, bro. Are we gonna predict this week's MPL ID matches? Fuck it. Let's do it now. Let's do it now. You know what? Let's 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 do it. Let's do it. Let me just close. Let me just open up MPL ID real quick. Let's predict some of the matches that we will have. All the matches that we will have this week, okay? Disclaimer. This might be a curse. <laughs> okay. So, let me move to the recording screen. Okay. Here it is, recording screen. Let's start with week one. Okay, I mean week five. Week five, day one. And then we'll try to predict MPL PH matches as well, okay? But let's start with Geek versus RBL. I will have to say, I think Geek Fam. Geek Fam takes this 2 0. Quick predictions. And then Evos versus Onic. Do we really need to talk about this? We'll skip this match because we all know the answer. I'll, I'll go for Onic here. Geek 2 1 RBL, someone said in the chat. I think I'm going to have to say 2 2 1. Yeah, 2 1 is safe. And then Onic versus Evos, it'll be 2 0 Onic. Rebellion 2-1. Ooh, we got some Rebellion fans here. RBL and Onik for me. Okay. Dewa versus RQ. This is going to be a tough one, honestly. But with the break, I think RQ should be stronger. Dewa might win. This is a very, very, like, good... Like, this is a, an interesting matchup. Dewa versus RQ. Hmm. Dewa 2-1, RQ 2-0. I think because RQ has, have had, like, a two-week break, they should be better. They should... With Vin and Lemon have better comms. So I'm gonna have to say RQ gets it done here against Dewa. RQ 2 1 Dewa. Alter Ego versus Aura. I'll have I'll have to say Aura takes this, dude. I think Aura will take them down 2 1. Uh Evos versus BTR. BTR 2 0. Alter Ego versus Rebellion. Alter Ego 2 0. Geek Fan versus Onic. Onic 2 0. Dale versus Aura, 
or uh, 2-0. That's, those are my predictions, boys. Go good supremacy. <laughs> go good supremacy, boys. Yes, sir. <laughs> Got a lot of go good fans. Let's try MPLPH now. MPLPH. All right. MPLPH predictions for week five as well. Omega versus Echo. Dude, okay, okay. Let me let me just talk about this real quick, right? So I did watch the game where H2O played over Matt and then their jungler, I mean their Rebo played over their mid laner. Yeah, shit like that. When they use their second roster, their other lot roster. And they look they didn't look bad, dude. They did not look bad. So like this is actually gonna be a very interesting matchup. Rebo is Romer? Yeah, but whatever, whatever. Uh, what I mean is like their their roster with the the new roster, Omega new roster looks okay. They don't look bad cuz they were looking horrible in like the first 3 weeks and then week 4 they decided to use H2. The question is where have the, where why haven't they been utilizing this roster, you know? But yeah, I still think Echo will get it done. Probably still 2-0, but Omega has improved a, quite a lot. Onyx versus RSG. Now this this might be this this is this is interesting, right? Because Onyx, even though they're number one, RSG have been on a roll too. I believe RSG are on a win streak. Onyx PH are really good, but for some reason Onyx PH do really, really well up against like the top teams, like AP Bren. But uh against even TNC, I believe, there were times where they didn't play maybe it's because they were up against a weaker opponent, so they just tried to, you know, play it differently, play it randomly, but yeah, Onyx Peach still look. Why the fuck do I have this song playing? Hello? Oh my god. I was playing fucking no copyright music. Why is it. <laughs> Why? Why is it playing copyrighted music? Okay, hopefully I didn't get copyrighted there. But. Uh, RG versus Onyx PH. I, I would say. I would say Onyx will still win this, but RSG are definitely a team that you cannot um, write off. It's 2 1 Onyx, I think. AP Brent TNC 2 0. Onyx PH Omega 2 0. Minana Blacklist. Dude, this is actually going to be a crazy match. Because I think for both these teams, they're really good. Both of them are pretty good, you know? Minana Evo's Kirk. Yeah, dude. Kirk is really good. I remember seeing him in, on Benedetta. I believe I was watch partying as well. And I was um, very impressed with his performance. Minana 2 1 Black. Looking at how Blacklist has been performing, I will say Minana 2-1 Black. But honestly, I think in Week 5, Blacklist should be able to get a grasp of what's happening. I think they should at least be able to... I think they'll win here, honestly. I think Blacklist can win. So I'm, I'm going to say 2-1 Blacklist. Hopefully they, they fix their shit. Echo RSG. Hmm. Echo RSG. Still want to say Echo, but RSG are really strong. This is a very close. This is a very good week of MPLPH, by the way. Except maybe the last two matches, or no, the just Blacklist versus TNC. Hmm. Blacklist should still be two O Blacklist. If they lose this and they lose against Minana, say goodbye to Blacklist hopes of playoffs, bro. Like they are not gonna get to playoffs if they don't beat Minana and TNC. The only way they make it to playoffs at this point is like if they beat the bottom teams. RSG 2-1 Echo? Wow, a lot of people think RSG 2-1 Echo. I think that, might, that, that may be true, honestly. I'm going to have to say Echo still gets it done. But you, you know what? You know what? Yeah, you know what? I might have to... I'm going to have to predict RSG 2-1 Echo here. You know what? RSG 2-1 Echo. Blacklist versus TNT. Blacklist should still win this. 2-0. AP Brand versus Banana. AP Brand should still win this. They lost against Onyx PH, but they're still really, really good. 2-0 uh, against Minana. So, there you go. That's my predictions for... Those are my predictions for week five of both MPL ID and MPL PH. When Mukbang, I already ate. It's all JP's fault? Yeah, by the way, chat, right? I was watching Gideon's, um, Gideon's podcast that he does. I think it's called MPL... I forgot what it's called, but it's like an MPL recap thing across different regions. And uh, LaFell was asking the question of like, yo... Why is everybody saying it's JP's fault? So yeah, LaFell, if you're watching this, brother, that's a meme that we created on the channel uh, <laughs> when I was watching MPLPH week three. 
MPL After Hours. There you go. MPL After Hours. Yeah, it's MPL After Hours. So yeah, me, I was making like, uh, I was I started it technically. Well, no, I mean like ch technically the haters started it. The Echo was winning against AP Brand, and then the chat was still like full of people saying JP's bad. So I just kept on saying, yeah, fucking JP, dude. What a what a JP's fault. Yeah. So it's a meme. It's now a meme. Hopefully it didn't get to JP though. I hope like it didn't affect his performance because it's a meme. <laughs> Let's go back to the intermission screen. Any updates about MPL PH drama? There are updates, guys. I actually have updates on the whole chicken versus MPL PH drama thing, but I cannot tell you guys. It's still between chicken and MPL PH. He told me, but I don't think I can tell you guys. <laughs> Economies collapses? Yeah, exactly. Economy. If the economy collapses, it's JP. If the stocks, if you lose all your money, it's JP's fault, bro. <laughs> Mara has a podcast. Yeah, it's an hour and a, like, it's... A long podcast. I was watching it, but then I was like, damn. It got to like, yeah, I watched like 30 minutes of it, I think. What do you guys think of the of Mara's podcast? Watch Mara's podcast. I think you guys should watch it and then come back here and we'll talk about it. Because I'll tell you guys this much, at least. When uh, Chicken, like after Chicken uploaded the video, after I uploaded the video, Mara actually did contact me and she actually did tell me that she really like appreciates me making a video on chicken like you know just making help kind of like supporting chicken in the way and that he she would be doing a podcast with chicken so i knew that this was coming i just expected it to happen a bit sooner but yeah i, I knew this was gonna happen you guys can check it out on the mara aquino channel PH drama is JP's fault? Yeah, bro. JP. All JP, bro. <laughs> Will you make a review of Onyx PH versus Brennan Echo? Do you guys want me to do a review of AP Brennan versus, uh, I mean, like, Onyx PH versus Brennan Echo? Because I think, I figured, you know, it's already Tuesday. It's a few days after Onyx PH versus Bren. I'll still make it tomorrow. I can just, I can make it tomorrow and upload it, honestly. But I don't know if you guys would still want to watch it because it's already everywhere for the last few days. King Kong or Demon Kai King Kong, bro. Did I miss the JP meme while I was casting for MCCM? Yeah, I think you did, maybe. <laughs> no meme review is JP's fault. It's all JP's fault, bro. Dude, but the shit that they were doing with the Claude and the Lo Yi was dope as hell. Like, seriously, that was lit, bro. The uh, diversion up top and then the Claude coming back to Battle Mirror Image, that's really cool. I like that. You should do the Claude Lo Yi combo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it's a really cool combo, bro. Cause you get Pryo on the map so easily. You like teams now. You can actually, if you actually do have a Lo Yi and a Claude in your team, you really don't need to care about having an XP lane that can rotate fast. Cause technically, you can just diversion a Claude over up top to clear the wave, and then he'll come back with the Battle Mirror image. And in late game, it's so disgusting because the cooldown on the diversion is very low. So you can constantly just create slow pushes. Forcing the enemy XP to go up there and you yourself not having to do to sacrifice much. You just you technically have an auto force error. I think Loyi is going to be banned a lot. I think Chip as well. A lot of teams have finally found the way to play Chip. Again, by the way, I'm just going to have to tell you, all right? I don't know. I, I won't tell you. Well, technically, it's already in a match. CFU has been have been doing crazy things with the with the Chip. I think they play Chip Loyi. What is it with CFU? And finding new metas and like being able to adapt to the meta the fastest. I'm not even joking, guys, all right? Pro the fastest team to adapt to the meta or the fastest team to make random new strategies, I think might, it might be CFU. Because I heard from the pro players as well. In scrims, the first team to actually utilize the Roger in gold is CFU. And now even with the chip and the Luo Yi, apparently it's CFU again who like started the, the combo. CFU. I'm rooting for CFU now. Looking at the way that they play, I I've always known that CFU like always uses random, very weird metas. Cause I casted their game in Snapdragon Pro Series, and we were asking the Kamai casters about it on like what makes CFU special. And then after watching CFU in Snapdragon, I was like, this. I I I see what they're trying to do. It just feels like their gameplay isn't there yet. But now they're looking pretty good. 
Who's CFU? CFU is a Cambodian team, boys. I don't know where, like, wait, let me just, here. This is CFU, dudes. CFU. This is CFU. How good are CFU right now? Are they top of the league or? CFU from, from Cambodia, yeah. They're Cambodian. This is a team that like creates random metas, but now they're not so random because they are actually able to to utilize it. This is the game where they picked up the Luo Yi. Wait, let me just where's this where's the screen all fucked? Wait, let me just let me just resize the screen so you guys can see the what's what's happening. How do I wait 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 wait? Hold up chat, hold up, hold up, okay, hold up. Trying to resize the screen here so that you guys can see. But yeah, this is the game that they played, the Loy Yi and the Chip. I think this is the first time ever in the in tournament setting that a team has played the Loy Yi and the Chip. And it's CFU. So yeah, the way that they played it was they basically played with crazy tempo across the map. They were just fighting and fighting and fighting. And this combo is so, so good when you have someone like the... Masha on the team too, because it just allows the dives to be so crazy. They were just dominating every single time. I think at this point, every team that goes up against CMFU kind of already like uh, bans this out already. They don't, they don't want to go up against this. But yeah, very, very crazy meta. They are just rotating t everywhere, fighting everywhere with early game heroes that do so well, and literally the enemy team can't com can't compete with it. Like, even here, right? They, they just force random fights, but they're so ahead because they've had the man advantage for the longest time. They can just continue to dive, continue to fight, dive turrets like it's nothing. And even if they don't get kills, they will get, like, they still, they'll still get shit. It's like the new biggie feeding meta where it's just chaotic, but it's chaotic in a different way where there's going to be, like, team fights all across the board. Again, a diversion over and then they they go again they just keep on doing this all across the map like they do ultimately die but they they catch their opponents off guard so many times that it's kind of like doesn't matter that the enemy team is able to get you twice or a few times you know because you just continuously just do this you have so much pressure on the map and you're already ahead by 3000 gold so these fights should really go your way especially with the Luo Yi and Amasha to zone the back so it's very chaotic. Very, very chaotic, bro. But yeah, obviously, they're also, you know, up against teams who are still trying to use different heroes as well. It's fight, fight, fight meta. Yeah, bro. Fight, fight, fight. Any prediction championship? Yo, Kaka42. Yo. Shout out to Kaka42, bro. He is a Cambodian caster. Everybody say hello to Kaka42. Shout out to Kaka. Any predictions on... The MPL Championship Cambo Cambodian. Who's gonna be champion? Ah, oh, okay, okay. Let me just let me just open up the website. MPL Cambodia website. Okay. All right. MPL Cambodia. Oh, sorry for that. That was a good burp. Yo, shout out to Kaka. I will say CFU. I really like how CFU like makes shit happen. I don't know. I, I like the way that they play. So I'm gonna say CFU. Hopefully CFU does win because it will be very cool to see them in an international tournament. It'll be very, very cool to see them in an international tournament. Can you imagine the crazy metas that they are... Coach CFU from China, he used to be PUBG pro player. Oh, wow. CFU's coach is a PUBG pro in China, bro. What? Damn. That's, that's very interesting. Wow. See you soon last? Yeah, bro. See you soon are... I was as shocked as you guys when I saw this, bro. See you soon are dead last. They lost Kusei, and I believe they got Hesa in their roster. So they didn't... Like, sure, Kusei was really good. But they didn't get, like, a garbage goal later. You know, Hesa was actually performing. What happened to see you soon? I have no idea. But for the matches that I did watch, it just looked like the whole team's underperforming. Boxy used to be a really good roamer. I'm not even joking. Boxy was up there with top roamers when it comes to the Kufras, the Cho's, the Kajas. But this season, he just... Maybe it is the meta. Maybe he can't play those heroes anymore. So he just gets heroes that he's not comfortable with. But Boxy is really underperforming, in my opinion. Did you know 
Did you know we have export one player to China? What? I did not know that, bro. What happened to Duck Rice? Bro, I don't know what happened to Duck Rice, right? But Duck Rice are my favorite team. Even though I predicted CFU to win, Duck Rice Esports is the best team in the world. I love Duck Rice, bro. Duck Rice Goat. Yo, this meta is getting interesting every week. Yes. And I uh, have heard that we are going to get a new patch coming very, very soon that will make the Assassin's meta again. And thank God for that. If that actually does happen, thank God. Because I freaking hate the Boxia, Fredrin, Barats in the jungle meta. Dude, my whole team, all right? My whole team, when I play Mobile Legends, no one on my team wants to play jungle, including me, myself, because it's just so boring. It's so freaking boring, bro. Like, get this shit out of here, man. Please, Moonton, please. Please nerf the tanks. The tanks shouldn't be doing that much damage. The tanks shouldn't be clearing faster than the assassins. Mirko, Duck Rice is Balut. <laughs> Duck Rice has been read from another team. Ah, I see. So, Lamal, the deleted messages. What are the deleted messages saying, bro? Oh, dude, yeah, bro. Bro, bro, bro. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. I've, dude, okay, let me just pull this up real quick, all right? But there was a, uh, here, here, let me, just, let me just pull it up. Pull it up, let me pull it up. Instagram, and then MPL Malaysia. Because this official statement from MPL Malaysia, I didn't know about this at all. I have I have no idea that this was a thing, but I guess it is. Here, let me read it out. I don't know if you guys have seen this before. Probably not, or maybe some of you have, right? Dear MPL Malaysia community, it has come to our attention that one of the teams competing in MPL Malaysia Season 13, Bounty Esports, is involved in certain allegations. Namely... Number one, attempted match fixing by an ex-player. And two, aggressive behavior and conflict within the team. The league is currently conducting a full investigation into the above matters and will issue our findings once it's been concluded. As Malaysia's longest running esports league, MPL Malaysia embodies professionalism and sportsmanship. But my goodness, bro. If they actually are, if they actually are fucking match fixing, bro, that's a big L, bro. Like, what's match fixing? Um, match fixing is where two teams basically like uh, make a deal behind the behind the scenes of like as to who will win and who will lose. They will fix the match. It's, it's um yeah. So team A will just say, "Yo, team B, I'm gonna lose," and you 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 take the win, okay? And then I'll probably like get something out of it, you know. So yeah, I have no idea if this is actually true. They're still doing investigations. I really hope it's not true because this will definitely like this is a big L for. Yeah, this is a big L for scripted matches. No, scripted matches are different, cause uh, scripted matches, it, you know, it's it's not well. Technically, it is scripted, but but scripted, but it's not scripted by the league. You know what I mean? Like match fixing, m match fixing happens between the teams. The league has nothing to do with it. I would hope the league has nothing to do with it. I mean, like WWE is scripted. That's scripted matches. That's not match fixing. You know? Yeah. Thoughts on Premier League twists? Bro, I don't even talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Mirko, what government org is more strict? Indo PBSC or PHGAB? Uh, I have no idea. Because I don't have um, a reference for PHGAB. I don't know how strict PHGAB is. PBSC uh, was strict. It looked like they were very strict when they first, you know, like emerged. But it has calmed down recently. Like, I mean, I don't think i've heard anything much from pbse so so i think they're, they're really good right now i don't think they, they're doing or maybe I ju i'm just not aware of what they're doing i don't know <laughs> thoughts on team spirit being number one in the european league bro it for sure they're gonna be number one like who else is there to beat them to be honest with you jeremiah jacob thank you so much for the membership for six months the Yay! mpl id breaks feels like forever dude Yes, it does. The MPL ID break feels like it's been going on for freaking months, man. I want to get back to MPL ID, man. Please, please. Can we skip the next three days, please? <laughs> Mimirkia. What is Mimirkia, bruh? MPL Malaysia week three predictions. Week three predictions? 
Honestly, honestly, I don't really... Wait, let me just try to open up the, the link. MPL Malaysia. Then let's try to predict MPL Malaysia week three. Okay. Damn, what the fuck? King Empire Esports is so good. What the heck? See? Yo, thank you so much, by the way, Jeremiah Jacob. King Empire are number one? All right, where are Bounty? Are Bounty are number seven? Homeboy sixth. Whoa, what? Six homeboys? RSG Malaysia are fourth. Team Hawker are third. Salango Red Giants are second. King Empire Esports are first. King Empire has Sutsu Gen. Yeah, I know. But I didn't think that they would be like this good, you know? All right. SRG versus RSG. SRG. I think SRG are the best team in MPL Malaysia, to be honest with you guys. Um, BRD versus Nyan. I honestly have no idea. I can't predict this. I don't even know the teams. Yeah, I can't predict MPL Malaysia. I don't. I haven't been watching MPL Malaysia, bro. But W King Sutsujin, yes, W King Sutsujin. But uh, I legit for ninety percent of these matches, I have no idea. Okay, Team Hawk will win all their games because they have Saken. You know, Saken's my boy, BTR boy. <laughs> Niners have Moon. Toda are Todak that bad? What? I don't even know. I what? How does Todak look, dude? At this point. I only know SRG, RSG, and King Empire. I only know the rosters to those three. And, and uh, Team Hawk. I know Team Hawk. I have no idea who Barak I like who are, who's playing Barracuda, Niners. Todak has only played two matches, so I don't think we can say that they're bad just yet. But maybe they're bad. I don't know. King Empire is SMG 2.0. Okay, so SMG with Sutsujin. Is that it? Toda still don't have chemistry. Damn. Hesu is in Barracuda? Oh. Yum's also no longer in Todak. That I know. I know he's in SRG. <laughs> it's all it's all JP's fault for the for the thing. Yeah, yeah. It's all JP's fault for the match fixing. For sure, bro. Barbosa the Niners. Oh shit, the Niners will win everything too. My boy Barbosa is there, you know. My boy Barbosa. Minana is turning out to be this season's dark horse. What is your opinion on Minana? I think Minana have a very good lineup that they can utilize to be the dark horse. But I think their drafts have still been quite like... I don't know if it's because it's been pretty easy to read Minana drafts. Not Minana drafts, but Spider Miles in, in particular. You know, his hero pool has been exploited before. It has been punished before. I don't know if it's that if it's because of that that the drafts have to kind of like rotate across different random gold laners to try to cover up the hole of um, Spider Miles in the Rome uh, having a limited hero pool. But yeah, it certainly does look that way for now. If they can fix that issue, then they can be really really good. If they can't, then I think Minana probably this season won't go far in the playoffs. They'll make it to playoffs, I think, but. I think they won't go far if it could, if it, the problems are still the same. Homeboy is already a brand itself. Analyze Onyx versus Echo. I'll try to analyze Onyx versus Echo, right? Niners is probably the most overrated team in MPL Malaysia. Why are Niners overrated? Why? Why are... Why? <laughs> Mirko Uultihani Angela. What is Uultihani Angela, bro? What is that? Chiku needs to take a rest. Predict MPLKH week four. See, I don't know, I don't know the teams at MPLKH aside from like CFU and I know Flash. I know Flash have have um, like a, a few Filipino players. Rindo. Who was it again? Rindo and yeah, but Flash versus you soon. Probably have to say. All right, let me just swap the screen back to. Let's predict. Let's predict. Okay, here. We'll take a look at the... Okay, here, okay? Flash versus CFU soon. I'm going to have to say Flash. CFU versus DRL. Flash. Uh, sorry, CFU. Max versus Pro. Oh, well, Pro is doing so bad. But for some reason, I think Pro sh should win this. CFU versus Flash. Damn. That's a good match. If CFU gets their comfort pick, CFU. If Flash bans it out... Should be Flash. 
See you soon versus Duck Rice Esports. Duck Rice Esports, baby. Best team in the world. TSV versus DRL. I don't know who TSV and DRL are, but DRL are looking good. Wow, DRL are looking good. I guess we'll just go with a safe option. DRL. Holy shit. Who is DRL? And how are they 4-0? and What? MSC prediction? Bro, we haven't even... Like, we need to see where... Like, who gets the MSC first before we do an MSC prediction. You know what? Let me just search for the Turkish League as well. I think Fireflux will be making it to MSC, right? And then um, from... EU? Is it EU? It'll probably still be Team Secret. Your thoughts on Venus vlog on you, bro. What? Venus did a vlog about me? What are you talking about? Venus vlog? Don't count S2G out yet. Okay, I won't count S2G out yet, but S2G doesn't look that like crazy strong. You know what I mean? Check on Liquipedia. DLR defeated you soon, man. Oh. King Kong and Kyrie will dominate if Assassin Meta comes. I think if the Assassin Meta comes back, it'll probably be Kyrie who's who's back, but from the Philippines. Like in Indo, I think Super Ken Taz will also benefit a lot from the Assassin Meta coming back. And then for the Philippines, will it be King Kong? Who I don't know. Even if the Assassins come back, right? In the Philippines, I will have to say that. Probably they will still prefer tank roamers. I mean, tank assassins over assassins. E they tank assassins over tank junglers over assassin junglers. What am I saying here? All right, yeah, they'll still prefer tank junglers because of their macro centered gameplay. Because they don't really brawl that much. Maybe teams like Echo will will go for the assassins again. Yo, Momo Chan, everybody, say hello to Momo Chan. Hello, Momo Chan. What's up? Everybody, say hello to Momo Chang in the chat. Momo Chang is here. The mom O Chan, bro. Mom O Chan. She is everybody's mom. Well, not everybody. The English desk. She's the mother of mother of the English desk, bro. Mom O Chan. Hello, Chimomo. How you doing, Chimomo? Momo Chan Yakult. What? What Yakult? Mama Chad. Mama Chad. That's say Momo Chan's here. Crunch time. On a PH winning it all? Okay, do you guys think who do you guys think will be champs for on a P uh, for PH? Good bro, you doing good? That's good, that's good. I'm doing good too. Momochan got me a Gojo figure, boys. She went to Japan recently. She just got back and uh she got me a Gojo figure. So W Momochan. NACT on PH, wow. A lot of people think on PH will win. I mean honestly, on PH are looking really good, so I can't really, you know. Blame you guys for thinking that way. But also, I think a lot of different teams are looking good right now. Like, even though Echo have been losing, I would say that they have been looking quite okay too. They're not they're not bad, you know. They're they're they have fucked up a couple of times like against Minana. They didn't respect Minana that much. But I th I still think there are a lot of like the top four of PH is very, very cool. Like seriously, I think the top four of PH is harder to predict. Then uh, in ID. Predicting the champions will be a bit tougher in in MPLPH. In ID, I think it's Onyx slash BTR from how they're playing right now. But even then, it might change. Overall, like first place to ninth place, I think MPL ID this season has been more competitive. All the teams have been able to get like snatch a victory against one another. But the top four in PH is like freaking good good you know good good aura yeah aura are there too aura are there too for sure the season champ is btr of course momo chan they are they're gonna be champs 100 percent, bro like why are you even asking this question momo chan hello hello momo chan hello it's obviously gonna be btr bro <laughs> I don't know. Um, BTR will lose every single match. Okay, we we need to curse them to win. Okay, BTR are the worst team in the world. We have to curse them. Okay, guys. If I say that they're gonna win, they're not gonna win. So I'm just gonna have to say, nah. BTR are the worst team. They they are not gonna win. They are going to lose every single one of their matches. Uh, 100% serious. Yes. 
Be, by the way, Mirko, it's my in my WhatsApp request ready or not. Uh, you'll get the message a few days before the match or before the day. Very sorry. That's just how things are done when we request tickets, my dude. <laughs> Mirko Parating Libog. No, it's Midnight Parating Libog, not Mirko Parating Libog. All right, nerd. It's Mir It's Midnight Parating Libog. Okay. Mere curse or mere blessed to that statement from BTR. <laughs> Finals preview, BTR versus Aura. Dude, if BTR and Aura is the grand finals, or like if that, if that becomes the grand finals of MPLID, I'll be satisfied. I don't care who wins. Well, actually, I do care because if Aura wins, I'll have to go bald. I made this bet with Gugun that I'll have to go, I'll have to get a buzz cut if Aura wins. So I hope Aura doesn't win because I want to keep my hair, but I want Aura to win because I want a new champ. If BTR champ this season, I'll treat you KBBQ. No, Momo-chan. If BTR wins this season, I will treat you to KBBQ. That doesn't... You don't know. I will treat you if BTR wins. Okay? <laughs> it's the opposite. <laughs> buzz cut Mirko. Yeah, bro. I don't think I'll look good in the buzz cut, though. Like, just... Yeah, no. Imagining you with a shiny head? Yeah, no, man. Okay, clip it, please. Yes, sir. Please restream MPL KH season six, bro. As much as I want to restream, I like legit. If MPL, if all the MPLs happen at different timings, I would 100% be down to restream. Thing is, all the MPLs start together, man. When I'm when I'm casting for MPL ID, MPL Philippines is going on, MPL Malaysia is going on. By the time I'm done with MPL ID, MPL Malaysia is done, MPL Philippines is done, MPL ID starts first and ends last. So like. I, I won't be able to restream any matches. I hope, I hope. So this is what I can do. MPL PH playoffs, MPL Cambodia playoffs, and MPL Malaysia playoffs. If they're all on different dates, if they don't collide with one another, I can do that. Because for sure, MPL Indo will be the latest, I believe. You know, the latest playoffs for the date. Because we have nine weeks compared to uh philippines is eight weeks and malaysia is six weeks so we should be able to end mpl faster than philippines and then malaysia well actually yeah no not faster longer so that means i can restream their playoffs because usually after the last week of mpl id or any mpl there's a two-week break before playoffs so let's say yeah i can do it i should i should be able to do it cast mpl ph if mpl ph wants to get me you know if they want to if they want to get me I'll be down, bro. 100%. I would be down. If they want to if they want to get me over to the Philippines, pay for my tickets again in my hotel, I would take I would take lesser pay to cast like I would because because obviously they're already paying for the ticket for me to fly over there and for me to, to I mean they're going to they're going to get give me a hotel, right? So, if they do get me a hotel and tickets, I would actually like I'm down to negotiate. I'm down to like go down just because you're already you know, bought the tickets and stuff. Bull ball Mirko. Brown. No, no bull ball. Bull ball ka. You. You. M6, you going to MY? We don't know. I'm, I'm not even, I don't even know if I'm going to MSC. Like, MSC and M6, I don't know how they'll decide who's going to go. Because especially for MSC, I think for M6, it's a bit more certain than MSC. Because I don't know how the new system works for MSC. I don't know if they're going to have the same system where Moonton is the one that decides the talent pool or if it's going to be, you know, um, the um, Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Does, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if like MSC will decide or Moonton will decide. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I have no idea if I'm going to MSC. I have no idea if I'm going to M6. I really hope I'll be going there because then, you know, the vlogs are going to be fire for sure. And uh, obviously, the cast is going to be fire. And uh, the the... the the stupid stuff will be fired too. If they get me and LaFell, yeah. If we're roommates again, we're going to have some funny stuff happen for sure. <laughs> what are your thoughts about Chama left at Flash? Where is Chama? Is Chama still in Flash or no? Do you think MPL ID is still fun to watch if Onyx ID still wins maybe five times or six times straight? Bro, if... If Onik wins five times straight, six times straight, and if, okay, here, here. If Onik win five times, six times, and they continue to win MSC and also M6, then I don't think it'll be boring. Because 
they're just that good internationally as well in the world. They're not just good in MPLID. But let's say Onik wins this season and then the next season. So they'll have like five, six trophies back to back to back to back to back. And they don't win international trophies. Then it'll be boring because no one can beat Onik but in Indo, but everybody else can beat Onik outside. That then that will be concerning, right? Because what's going on with Indo? If there's only one champion for six seasons straight, five seasons straight, but the champion doesn't win international tournaments. Like, that's why when Onik won season 11, season 10, it was fine because they were still performing really well. And even in MSC, they won. Snapdragon, they won. They continued that. And even in M5, it looked like they were going to win. All right? Don't hate me. They looked like they were going to win. That's facts, bro. They 3 0 AP Bren, but then AP Bren, for some reason, came back. Freaking AP Bren. Why? Why you gotta be so good, man? Like, can't you just let Indo, Indo, Indo get a trophy? An M-Series trophy? The only trophy we have, bro, is Evo's Legends from M1. That's, that's wild, bro. It's been so long since M1. It's legit been five years since M1, bro. Bro, it, five years ago, I was a baby. Legit, I was a baby. I was... I was... 17 years old, five years ago, bro. I was still in high school. Blame Ducky? I'm going to blame the whole team. I'm blaming Ducky. I'm blaming Vren. I'm blaming freaking Super Marco. Freaking Flap TZ. Few. Kyle TZ. I'm, bra I'm blaming all of them, man. They're freaking too good. It's JP's fault. You're right. No, we don't blame AP Bren. It's freaking JP's fault, man. To JP, why the hell did AP Bren win M5, man? It's all your fault, JP. I'm blaming JP. Me too, man. Seriously, seriously. If JP beat AP Bren, then AP Bren would not have won M5. You're right, Chad. It's all in JP's hands, man. What's up, brother? Special JP. <laughs> I'm going to blame JP too. <laughs> think JP's fault. That's why I didn't... ID didn't win. Yeah. I think uh, there's... It's all JP's fault. Seriously. Like, JP, come on. Please, please, brother. Okay. If you guys want a new region to win, if you guys want someone to end the Filipino era, we have to all request it to JP, okay? We all have to DM JP. Please, please, JP, um, give us a new champ. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, right, guys? MPLPH is a scripted league because it's all scripted by JP. He decides, okay? You know why Onika really good? Because JP, okay? Because JP. <laughs> It's a joke. It's a joke, okay? It's a joke. No, it's not a joke. MPLID is scripted by JP too. The whole MPL, MLBB is scripted by JP. Even other sports, man, even in football, the reason Liverpool lost is because of JP. Freaking JP making me lose, you know, making me lose some uh, tantrums, man. Have you seen Minana versus Echo? Yes, I have. I've seen the Doming item swap, shit like that. It's crazy. If BTR wins championship, Miracle will treat the whole Miracult community. Bro, if I have money to treat the whole Miracult community, 72,000 of you guys, I would do it. But the thing is, I am not as rich as Wolf. Wolf could do it. Wolf will 100% be able to, you know what? Wolf won't be, able, won't be able to just treat you guys. He's so nice and so rich. He'll probably buy each and every single one of you guys a home, a car, and a million dollars in life savings. And then he will still probably be the richest person in the world still. Like Bill Gates is nothing on him. Jeff Bezos, psh, nothing, bro. Elon, have you ever heard of the Shadow Council chat? That's Wolf. Wolf is the shadow. Wait, what if he's the shadow analyst of GeekFam? Wouldn't that be crazy? It's probably how he got the money to, you know, to do all of this. <laughs> Eman or Kelra? Mechanics-wise, I'll say Kelra. Brain-wise, I'll say Eman. But because I'm a BTR fan, I'm going to say Eman. <laughs> Chama goes to China Flash KH is just, just supposed to farewell Oh shit Oh shit Chama is Damn Chama imported to China Where is he going? Is he going to like Which team Which team is he going to? JP is Wolf's son 
<laughs> JP is Wolf's son. Now that it explains it, it everything just everything's explained now. No wonder. Do you have a favorite team in MPL ID? Yes, it's not Bigatron Alpha. Mirko, what you could say about Red Hot Onyx PH sweeping AP Bread and Echo back to back nights? They have the momentum. They're a super team. They're really good, and they understand what to do in like in these. I don't know. They're just really good. Onyx PH, the acquisitions that they made were really really good. Like their preseason transfers was insane. They kept already a very good transfer. That, I mean, a very good roster that had a lot of potential. Uh, with Gem, and then obviously Escalera from last season. And there's one more member that I'm forget forgetting here. Super Friends. There you go. So they they kept the three members that were performing really really well, and then they kind of scrapped the members. They they kicked out the members who were doing really bad or not bad, but not doing as good to what they expected, right? Like Ryzen, as much as he was pretty good last season, he wasn't good good. They got King Kong, the guy who was performing in TNC. Despite TNC being a bad team, they had a lot of good members individually, players individually that uh, could shine in a good team. And then Kelra as well. Kelra was... This is what I said, by the way, last season. A lot of people were, were hating on Kelra last season. I, I remember this, by the way. And you guys can, can go back to my streams. I remember saying this as well. When I was watch partying the Omega match, bro, Kelra was just on the wrong team, bro. If Kelra gets a good team, he's a scary freaking goal laner. If Kelra gets a good team, he may be the best goal laner in the world. And now he's in a good team. So, yeah, on a pitch, you're scary. I've been saying this. All you Kelra haters have been saying, you know, Kelra's washed. Everybody else is better than Kelra. Kelra is garbage now. But uh, I remember saying this. He was good in Omega, but he just had a shit team. Okay? Now he has a good team. Meme review today? Yes, we will be doing meme review today. JP helped them win? Oh, you're right. My bad. Kelra is garbage. It's all just JP. The JP, JP, uh, yes. <laughs> Kelra is really good since XA. Yeah, yeah. Kara has been really good since Exit. I think even in the Omega, uh, um, I think even in MSC 2022, when they made it to, uh, to MSC with RSGPH, when RSGPH obviously ultimately won the whole thing, I also was still saying that Kara was the best player in the world at that time. I remember seeing him in real life and telling him, "Bro, you're the best player in the world right now," and he was like, "No, no," but he knew he knew he was the best, bro, at the time. Come on. Have you seen Kara's carry going one v one with Super Marco's Harriet last week? I have seen um. A few clips. I don't believe I've seen the 1v1. Wise or Carl Teasy? Ooh, in terms of M-series trophies, I will have to say Carl Teasy. Achievements. In terms of hero pool as well, I'll have to say Carl Teasy. I think overall it's Carl Teasy. But I don't think any other jungler and Rome could fill in the shoes of V-Wise in Blacklist. Innocent as well with SRG. They are guaranteed contender for international. Yeah, Innocent's really good. And I love the fact that Innocent shit talks, bro. Like, bro, Innocent. Okay, listen, listen, Innocent, Innocent. If you're watching this, bro, okay? You trash talk Saken. Saken's my boy. He's a BTR, bro. Okay? You trash talk Saken. You trash talk Udil. Udil's my boy as well, okay? One of my favorite players because he trash talks as well. The hell, who the hell do you think you are? Because you're doing really good, man. Like, seriously, I love the trash talk. Even though he's trash talking to players that I love, I love that. I love I love that shit from Innocent. Like, I hope he keeps the same energy. I hope he doesn't, like, change. Because, obviously, it's a league. It's a very... It's it's going to be a very long league. If he loses, there will be players who shit talk him back, for sure. Like, that's how, just how it is in Malaysia. If he suddenly becomes humble, I don't like that. Keep the same energy. I love that from Innocent. I love the fact that, you know, he's been very, very spicy. It makes me want to watch MPL Malaysia. So, yes, a message to Innocent. Do not st stay innocent. <laughs> do, don't do what your name suggests, okay? Miracle prediction for my team tomorrow. Barca versus PSG. We're leading 3-2, heading on to second leg. I'll have to say Barca, but if, if, if Mr. Kylian Mbappe decides that he wants to play, you're dead. <laughs> King Kong or Kyrie? Right now, I will have to say King Kong because on utility junglers, it does seem like King Kong is better than Kyrie. But on assassins, I'm gonna have to say Kyrie. Kyrie still 
my favorite player of all time. Kyrie, what happened, bro? Come on. Get the hunger back, bro. Please. JP, teach that trash talk to innocent. To JP taught innocent? Oh, my God. No wonder. Why didn't you curse Crystal Palace? Uh, because I wanted the, the title race to be fun, you know? Because if they won against Crystal Palace, it would be over. Any favorite team in NACT? BTK, bro. Okay? Here are the teams that I support across, re across the different regions. Philippines, Echo. Indonesia, BTR. Malaysia, it used to be Secret, but Secret are no longer, you know, in the league. So, SRG, because Innocent's, Innocent and Gojes keep talking, and I love that. And then Cambodia, Duck Rice Esports, because Duck Rice, you know, I just love Duck Rice. And um, what am I missing here? NACT, BTK. Have you watched Spider Miles not fist bumping Yoshi? Yes, I have seen that. Here goes the global miracle curse. You're right, bro. SG is whatever team Diablo is in, bro. <laughs> I'm rooting for whoever, like whatever team. Like if Diablo is still in Flash, then I'll stay Flash. If Diablo goes back to RSG, I'll say RSG. I'm just, a, I'm Diablo. For SG, it's just Diablo, bro, okay? <laughs> what can you say about Aura's performance this season? They, they've been doing real good, man. What do you think about Ani PH performance now? I think they, they're, they're really, really good. I think they're, they're solid. They're very, very nice. Do you still remember Nepal? Oh, yeah, from Nepal, it's whatever team BBC is in. Yeah. I, I support for Miracle. Or if he moves to another team, then I'll support whatever team he moves to. Because it's a big black clock, bro. Hey, Marco, have you watched Venus Vlog? No, I have not watched Venus Vlog. I've seen a few comments here and there saying that, have you watched Venus Vlog? Venus, like, Venus Vlog. There was Miracle and Venus Vlog and shit. How am I in Venus's Vlog? Like, I've n I'm not even in the Philippines. Is there a lookalike or what? Miracle forgot the Bomba? Oh, yeah. I mean, like, I'm, I'm support. I think the thing is, I would... If I say I support Fireflux and I support Team Spirit, it's just like, yeah, no shit. They're, they're the only teams who've gone to international tournaments from that region. You know what I mean? So, like, I don't... It's not fair. I am a Bomba fan, though. So, I'm a, I'm a big Bomba fan. I'm the... Yeah. And for Fireflux, I am a fan of Apex 47. Most people, when they talk about Fireflux, they're probably fans of Rosa. Rosa or Rosa. Me... I'm an Apex 47 fan, bro. Apex 47, W Mans. Hopefully he gets to perform again. Cause I remember the Tigril in M5 when they he got like a four man. I, I was it against I think it's Blacklist. Four man ult a couple of times. It's just it was nasty, bro. It was nutty, bro. Oh my god, that was so satisfying. I was watching like the M5 best plays uh, from DJY recently. Just wanted to watch it again, but yeah. Oh, this is good. Bomba mentality. Mirko supporting Echo because of JP? Yeah, for sure, bro. If I don't support him, I won't have a career, man. JP pays me, bro. I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> have you seen Manana Evos beating Echo 2-0? Yes. Oh, shit. I have not seen the 2-0. The I've seen the one where Domeng, like, swapped items. Uh, that was AP Brand. My bad, my bad. I haven't seen Echo versus Minana. I, yeah, no. I haven't. Flap TZ. You guys remember that moment, bro? <laughs> Gaiman or BTK? I technically I support both Gaiman and BTK. Cause for Gaiman, I support Chicken, Shark. I love those two. Uh Zia as well. BTK. BTK is just, you know. You know how I'm a fan of BTK, man. Moba Zane. Moba Zane, bro. Moba Singh, bro. Moba Singh. My goat. My NA goat is Moba Singh, bro. How crazy is BTK? How crazy are they? they how the hell were they able to beat Gaiman? Gaiman is literally 
NA All Stars without Zayn. Meme review miracle? Yes, we will be doing meme review, bro. Do you think Alter Ego can compete with teams in the Philippines? Answer in Indonesian. Untuk sekarang gue, menurut gue belum bisa sih Alter Ego lawan tim PH. Soalnya dari cara mereka main tuh nggak tahu ya aneh ya. Kalau gue lihat itu inconsistent banget. Kayak mereka itu kalau d- bisa menang di early game dengan mekanik mereka, dengan template gameplay mereka, mereka bakal dominate. Mereka bisa menang parah. Tapi ketika udah di posisi yang susah, mereka makronya langsung gak sebagus di awal gitu loh. Jadi mereka makronya masih banyak banget yang harus diimprove. So yeah, this guy is asking me why, uh, if Alter Ego can beat Filipino teams, I just answered in Indo because he asked me to answer in Indo. But yeah, what I said is, I don't think Alter Ego can go up against the Filipino teams, top Filipino teams, because of their macro. In the early game, they do really, really good. I think they are very good when it comes to very template gameplay, when it comes to very, when it comes to team fights, and when it's a brawl, they're really, really good. But the macro for Alter Ego have been, uh, has been pretty bad, honestly. Like, they've been so inconsistent. In games that they have a 10,000 gold lead in, that they, they can actually just throw the game. This is a very common thing that Alter Ego has faced before. It's, a, it's what we call the Alter Ego passive in Indonesia, where they would just throw their lead by going for a stupid fight and shit. And it has happened again. If they're able to fix that issue, they'll be strong. That's always been the problem for Alter Ego. They have a really good early game, but then they fuck up the late game because of their bad decision making, bad macro, so, far, yeah, so on and so forth. But yeah, I, I think it's, it's very template the way that they get like their macro even is very template in the early game if they get a win in the lane if they get a win in the turtles then they win the game but if they don't they it's very hard for them to come back it seems mobazine got a savage with alpha yeah i saw that clip bro yeah nicolette is in btk it's uh yeah it's interesting my oh what kaka what did karko say what what did kaka say my favorite team in MPL ID is Aura Fire. Ooh, all right. Do you like Aura because of because Yaoi is in, or did you just have you been supporting Aura? It was two v five as well. Yeah, that Alpha Savage was cool, dude. He was in the mid lane, right? I remember him being in the mid lane, and he ulted two guys. He and it was it was dope as shit. Real question, Nicolette, Sayori, or MPL Malaysia girl? I haven't been watching MPL Malaysia. I haven't been watching BT, uh, NACT, so I don't think I can say anything on that. Kelra said Marco is easier than Benny in his stream. Ooh, damn. Damn. Yeah, I think, to be fair, I think in lane, Marco, Marco is the best goal laner all around. Like, overall, I would say. But what makes him special is in the laning. I think there are a few players who still lane better than him. Eman, obviously, Kaura, and Benny. They, I think they, they lane better than um, they lane better than Marco. But what makes him special is how they how he's able to execute the team fights. How he's able to stay um, farmed up even when the team is losing. You know, because yeah, I think in in the the gold lane in the lane itself, he isn't the strongest laner. I think the strongest laner title might have to go to Eman. Honestly, from the games that I've watched. Every UCL fixture, second life predictions. Man, Madrid versus City, City, Bayern versus Arsenal, Bayern, Atletico versus Dortmund, Atletico. Mirko, how do you feel if Eman gets robbed in MVP awards? That's not going to happen. So they have actually listened, by the way. Shout out to MPL ID for... I don't know if they actually listened to... The criticisms that I have been, that, you know, the things, I've been saying this for for weeks and weeks and weeks. But we'll we'll open up the English stream. Wait, uh, MPL ID English. Here, let me just show you guys what I'm talking about. In case some of you guys still think that it's going to be, like there might be another robbery, shit like that, because, you know, we were talking about the robbery and shit. All right, so here. Take a look at this, boys, okay? So, they... I don't know... Again, I don't know if MPL ID actually listened to what I've been saying in my sarcasm. Remember how I've been saying that MVP, regular season MVP, should never be a fan vote award. Like, you should never have fans be able to vote for who's the regular season MVP. Right? They did it. They changed it. So, 
again, don't know if they listened or don't know if they, they came to their, like, oh, like they made their own decision. But here's the list of MPL awards. As you can see, regular season MVP, finals MVP, first team award, second team award. Every award except for Dream Team and Outstanding Media will not be fan votes. So there are only two awards that are fan votes. Then it's Dream Team Awards and Outstanding Media Contribution Awards. Everything else is based on individual performance, I would say, right? And and voting internally. It'll be internal voting. Because I believe for Rookie of the Season, for Finals MVP, for Regular Season MVP, for First Team Awards, we will all, all the talents will be asked to vote as to, as you know, who, to ask who uh, will be. Yeah, Claudie's mailing, I know. Mirko, can you watch Onyx Patriots Echo? Fan voting are always rigged. Yeah, it's not rigged. It's fan voting. But fan voting will always be 100% subjective, you know? Because I guarantee you, if it's purely just fan votes, then the teams with the most fans will be the ones that win every single time. <laughs> That's what Kara said too. Laning Marco is not that good as compared to Benny Cutie, but his positioning in team fights is what makes him a good goal laner. Yeah, it, it's the way that he executes team fights and the way that he's able to stay uh, relevant in the game despite the team is behind, despite the team being behind. So yeah, that's that's why I still think Marco is probably still overall the best goal laner in the world because his laning isn't bad. It's just not as good, you know. Benny Cutie, Marco, Kelra, Eman, Oheb, Marky. Um, mechanics Kelra for sure. Like, I think Kelra, but I would say hopefully Eman. <laughs> Do you think Oni Peach beating AP Brand and Echo in a sweep is a fluke? I don't think it's a fluke. I don't think it's a fluke. But who knows? Maybe it might be a fluke, right? It's there's this team, Onyx PH. They're a superstar team. Like they're a crazy team right now. And the thing is, when we have a lot of teams like this, like the super teams that are built, momentum plays a big part in these super teams. Because when they get together, they know that they're all individually amazing. They can play at a super high level. And if they find success too fast, some teams, some super teams. They, they do not stay consistent. They're really good at their peak. They're probably the best team in the world, but they don't stay consistent. It's a long league still, right? Despite them still being number one right now at the week four point, there is still four more weeks to go and then playoffs. There is a chance still that they choke. There is a chance still that it might just be a first half fluke. Remember Evo's Legends in season 10? They were number one at the half week point and then they didn't make it to playoffs. <laughs> I don't think that will happen to Onyx PH, but anything can happen technically, you know? MPL PH is only seven weeks? Wait, what? Really? I don't remember. Oh my god, it's seven weeks. So, okay, there are three more weeks. My bad. Wow, I... So for sure, I'll be able to restream MPLPH. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good for me. Wait, isn't... Wait. No. It's not good for me. They're going to end before I even restream, bro. Because I'll be... MPLID still... Oh, my God. They only have three weeks left. MPLID still has five weeks left, my dudes. We have five weeks left. How the hell is it going to work then? How long will be will the break be? Um, for like from week seven to playoffs for MPL PH. Interesting. Okay, I don't know. We'll we'll have to think about that. Do you think Oni PH now can qualify for MSC? Yeah, if they perform the way that they do right now, I think for sure they can. Have you watched Mara's podcast with Fwide and Wolf? Won PH Esports Awards at a con as a content creator. Uh, I have not watched Mara's podcast entirely. I've watched like 30 minutes of it, but not. I haven't watched the entire thing. But yeah, I, I know that Wolf won. Congratulations, Wolf, my idol. Si Idol Palato. Shout out to Wolf for winning the PH Esports Awards. I think he deserves it 100%. I think um, Wolf's been pumping content out a lot. Just like, I mean, last year. You know what got me really triggered? 
he was uh, he could have monetized all his videos last year, but he didn't enable it. To, I think it was I forgot who it was, who I think it was Naisu who told him, and I was just like, Naisu was like, bro, you should you should like monetize your videos, and I was like, what the fuck? You haven't monetized your channel, so the views that he's been getting, right, with all the interviews with Bomba, with all that. Those were like probably not monetized, man. And I just have to say one thing. He's just too rich. That's the only explanation. There's no way he would just... He's just too rich. He's like, what? YouTube money? Psh, freaking... Ew, what the hell? I don't need to... I, need, I don't need more money, bro. I should be giving YouTube money, you know? So yeah, you know, whatever. It's just a wolf thing, you know? It's something that I can't relate with, obviously. You know, I, I need money. Unlike Mr. Babayero Wolf. He's the richest caster of all time. Even Theo in my podcast, if you guys remember, he said that Wolf is Balbayero. He's the richest caster. So, I mean, even Theo said it, you know. Everybody's saying it. Everybody knows. Earthquake? What? Wait. This Is this serious? Some people are saying earthquake? Do you agree that Kelra is the gold standard? Yes. What happened to MPLID? Nothing. Just we had a two-week break because of Lebaran, because of um, the Muslim holiday in Indonesia. It's also Lebaran in Malaysia. That's why there's a week break. So, yeah. Who will win, Onik PH or ID, if they meet? The way that they've been performing now, I would say Onik PH. But if Onik ID get back to their peak, I think it'll be a great match. I think it'll be like a 3-2, 4-3 grand final type of... Imagine if Onik PH and Onik ID meet up in the grand finals of an international tournament. It's an it's Onyx World. It'll just be Onyx World then. <laughs> Wolf too rich, he bribed the awards the guy to let him win. Nah. He didn't bribe the awards guy. He just owns the Philippines, you know. It, <laughs> but yeah. I think that's it for the talking, my dudes. They were like they're just chatting. I think we're going to be doing meme review now, so it's time to go and do meme review. We haven't done meme review in a while, so I would I hope that um, I won't be doing like a super long meme review, but I will try my best to do a meme review. Like, I, oh my god, there are so many memes that I missed out on. Okay, so yeah, we'll we'll we're we're gonna do meme review now, boys. Okay, we're doing meme review. So yeah, in in, in case some of you guys want to join in the meme review, you guys can join the Discord in the description below and then send your memes. We're probably not going to react to your memes today if you just joined. I have this thing in this channel where uh, the winners of meme review will be calculated, like how many times you win. And then the person with the most points by the end of the month will be getting a free skin or starlight from um, the shop. So you can ask for any single one of it, okay? any single one of the skins from the shop, as long as I can buy it. So yeah, let's uh, do meme review. It's time for meme review. All right, ML is easier than League. Minion waves are much smaller, easier to kill, meaning that there's less strategy required when laning, and also allows you to rotate much quicker. Wait, the screen is fucked? And unlike League, they don't delete half of your HP bar in like two seconds. And lastly, since it's a mobile game, people really fucking suck. I mean, look at this. We're in the second highest rank and we get two junglers. To be fair, the second highest rank in MLBB doesn't mean shit. Like if you're legend, legend is not, it's so weird, right? The rank system in Mobile Legends is very, very weird because Mythic doesn't, isn't the highest rank. You know what I mean? Like if you if you get to mythic, you're an you are a below average to I mean, I would say you're still a bad player if you're just mythic. If you're just mythic, you're a bad player still. You're not in the highest rank. If you're legend, oh. But yeah, you know what I mean? Like people in mythic, just mythic aren't good. The people who are actually good are probably like glory above. Those are the good players. And then the people who are above 100, those are the really good players. And then the people who are over 150, that's the real top level players. Because like if you are legend 
or mythic or even mythic honor, you're so freaking average. You're like, you're barely average. Yeah. Chef in the building. This is a head and shoulders. This is a head and shoulder. What? Women, remember that. Next, I needed a falls in love episode. And boy, did it deliver. Chef in I the building. Three lovely ladies. Hey! To choose from. And I chose none of them. Yes. Luckily, I found her anyways. The love of my life. Yes, Mrs. Deadpool. Stoic and unmoving. Yep. She was made to listen to my jokes. Chefin loves head and shoulders, bro. Always posed to say, CITB. I love you. CITB. She was perfect. That was until I found out her dad was a colossal b All right. We're Filipino. Of course we love eating Jolly Bee. I'm Jojo. I scam old ladies for fun. Dude, that's so fucked up. You can't do that. But I made a lot of money though. What? What? This is an optimized Angela. Yeah, bro. Angela looks whack. Like the new Angela, Moonton. Why? Why'd you change Angela? She looks. She looks restarted. She looks acoustic. <laughs> Mirko noticed me. Yo, what's up, Jewel? Shout outs to you, bro. Roast Mirko roasting 50% of MLB players. Why? You, you can't hate me. I'm right. Stale, bro. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god. I can't believe it. We got this meme. Oh my god. Stale, boring. Corporate needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. They're the same picture. Oh, man. All right. ID better, PH better. Oh, shit. I'm fucked. We got Yowie. All right. These are some solid memes here. So, some solid meta memes. Which is better? ID or PH? ID, PH, both better. Kick him out. Kick him out. He needs to answer. <laughs> 1.2 billion. So you go ahead and you stack spaghetti sauce at a store in, 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 in a supermarket. You control the guy or the woman who runs the run, run brings out the carts on, 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 on a forklift. What? What happened? The fuck is what? What is that? You smell what I smell? <laughs> Hello. <gasps> what is that stench? Ah! Do you have any idea what's <laughs> Ah, hello, Gordon Free. All right, now I won't take the durian slander though. Chat, I ain't taking the durian slander, okay? Durian is delicious. I love durian, bro. Chat, do you like durian? Let me know. Let me know right now, chat. What do you, what do you guys think? Do you guys think durian is disgusting? Cuz I've met so many people who think durian is disgusting. It's, you know, sh it's shit. It smells like shit. Shit like that. But honestly for me, for, for me, bro, durian is Perfection. It is perfection, bro. No, uh it stinks, bro. You haven't tasted the the good durian, bro. Come to Indo. Go to Manga Bazaar. Okay, that's the place where you get the durian. And it's the street vendors. Go and look for the good street vendor, and eat durian there, bro. I swear to God, it is. I can eat like three, four whole fruits alone. I can eat the whole thing alone, okay? Why are there freaking spoilers here, boys? I can't believe. Don't spoil, boys. Okay, I'm kidding. All right. Moto G JP. Moto JP! I'm telling you, he owns JP Cooper. Bro. Nurse JP on X says Happy New Year. Oh, my. JP Advance. JP Morgan. Bro, it's we're living in JP's world, bro. It's copyrighted. Fifty dollars is for a monthly sub. Eighty dollars is for a video of any length. You choose the scenario. All right, sweetie, I'm gonna report you to IRS. Have a nice time. Blocked. Bye. Okay. Okay. Did you actually fucking? <laughs> I'm being audited. I hope you're happy. You fucking virgin loser. Cut. No girl wants to touch it. <laughs> IRS. Okay. Due to the high heat index, we advise the public to stay hydrated. Philippines drinks coffee. This is also Indonesian, okay? Like Indonesians, uh, as Indonesians, we love our coffee. We cannot live without coffee. Coffee is number one, okay? So that's something that me, an Indonesian, and you guys, Filipinos, and probably everyone around the world who watches my videos shares in common. We all love coffee. What the hell? Bro, he, they're gonna be stuck there. What?
What? What the hell, dude? Construction workers, man. Shout out to the shout out to the construction workers. If there are if there are any construction workers who are watching my videos, because looks I mean that's hard work, bro. That's really like hard work. Wait, what? What happened? Or is it paused? Oh, it's just that. Okay. We're done. Oh my god. Oh sorry, that was my fault. Jesus cried that your mom give birth on a minefield. Bro, this is some crazy shit. China thinks they can invade Philippines easily. All right. The terror... <laughs> Free Wi-Fi. <laughs> Water vendors. Okay. Yo, every country better be careful, bro. These waterbenders are crazy. Average ROTC training. <laughs> World, words, words best fighter jet. <laughs> Captain Philippines. <laughs> State of the art submarines. Oh my god. Hey, at least it didn't implode, if you know what I mean. <laughs> High tech rocket launches. <laughs> okay, okay. PH, you know, I, I, I agree with Mr. I, I agree with Mr. Sebi. PH got JP, so no one can invade the Philippines, you know? So it's, it, it's GG. Oh no. Yan, ganda ng pilvite. Fiber. Wow. <laughs> what? What is this? What? Ang ina mo. All right. There, there's a lot of copyright music there. I'm gonna skip. Can we play a game? Sure. I like Instagram. I like TikTok. I like Snapchat. I like you. Sorry, I don't like you back. Oh no, it was YouTube. Dude, this guy's a master. This guy's a master. Chat, chat. This guy's a master. Bro. Bro, this is how you confess to your crush without confessing to your crush. Bro, okay? That's how you do it. That's a master. Hi. Nice to meet you. He asked him about his ex, but uh, didn't tell a him. Bit. Rate your ex one through ten. On uh, looks? Yeah. 8.5. What do you think she would rate you? Five? Six? I don't know. <laughs> who broke up with who? She done it. Do you miss her still? Yeah. I thought I was gonna marry her. Really? Is this song copyrighted, bro? All right, I'm sorry because the song might be copyrighted. I'm gonna have to skip because I've been. Hey, I'm fine. Quinchana. Use your old. You reach level four now. Ning, 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 ning. Oh my god, he forgot to level his old, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, true. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh my! Sorry. Okay. Filipinos hailed as sexist, sexiest accent in Asia, according to Big to Big Seven Travels top fifty sexiest accents in the world. Filipino accent is the sexiest in Asia and twenty first in the world. The food and travel website described the Filipino accent as gentle and soft, and simply lovely. That's hot. New jeans mascot. Yep, that's true. Bunnies. Yo, my boy Mirko, what time is the upload tomorrow? I don't know, but uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Hundreds of festival goers in Mexico shine laser pointers at a passenger jet overhead. What, what is wrong with people, bro? Why? Why, bro? Okay. We have a video. Snipe. Boom. Okay. Okay. Nice snipe, bro. Nice snipe. La baguette. La baguette. Is that it? Is that just a video? That's just La Baguette? La Baguette. It's just La Baguette. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we have Flap TZ here. I am Flap TZ. 6-1. I love. I'm Onyx PH. No? It's probably Onyx PH, right? Oh. Kelra. Bayern, Bayern Leverkusen under Xabi Alonso this season. If if he pulls it off, by the way, I'm just saying, if he pulls off, he already won the Bundesliga, right? If he wins DFB Pokal, and if he wins the UEL, and if he if he doesn't get a single loss, this might be the best season of all time. Even though it's UEL. Unfortunately, it's UEL. But yeah. Whoa! Whoa! What? What? What is this? M6 Claude? 
That looks cool, dude. M6 Claude. Oh my god, that looks dope, bro. Oh, so there are, there are a couple designs. Okay. Okay, which design do you guys like most? This one looks cool. This one looks cool. This one looks cool. I think I'm biased to this one right here. But honestly, we already have this color scheme. This is the M5 color scheme. So it's probably not going to be this scheme. I think it won't. These are, this is just like, this is fan made though, right? I think it'll, I think it won't be any one. Like these three will not be the real skins. You know, I think they have their own design. It'll, it'll be the same as like, you know, the prime, the, the thematic will be the same probably as the M5 one, as the M4 one as well, as the M3 one, the Prime skins, you know? So the Beatrix skin with the Rogers skin and the what was it, Yu Zong skin, it'll all have the same kind of vibe. So I don't think this... Be, this is a cool design though still, so shout-outs to the guy who made it. All right. Am I doing Tinder right? What's your favorite kind of soup? Chicken and vegetable. A fine choice. Why, thank you. What's an odd first question? You can tell a lot about somebody by their favorite soup. What can you tell about me? You like chicken and vegetable soup. All right. If you think about it, men are like blacksmiths. They have to beat their steel rods every day to get it. <laughs> My Uber driver is constantly talking about marijuana and all the ways to smoke it. Going to be real awkward here in about 10 minutes when he drops me off at home and my patrol car is parked in my driveway. Oh, my God. Unlucky. Unlucky Uber driver. Mom should get a fast pass to the front of the line at coffee shops. Honey, you're 22 and slept 10 hours last night. Get to the back of the line. Imagine thinking that you deserve special treatment for getting cream pie. Oh, my. Mute for copyright. Okay, thank you. Thank you. This video is not going to play. Onyx PH or Onyx Indo? Uh, Onyx PH right now, but Onyx Indo is the team I support. Kenjaku is genderless. Game is game. Yeah. Oh, oh, we got it. We got it here. Me, responsibilities. This is the last WrestleMania, right? All right. I'm about to... What? What? Yo, those are wild, bro. Original, what's up, brother? Which teams? Uh, Dumb fuck? Thank you, Morgs. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Appreciate it. All right, uh, Sketch, do you need to FaceTime me again? Yes. Sketch, I'm on the brink of insanity. Just letting you know. I'm on the brink of insanity. We haven't even started the stream yet. Okay, I joined your fa joined my FaceTime, Sketch? I'm in here. All right, this motherfucker's smart. Yo, I can't. What's up, brother? <laughs> <laughs> what's up, brother? What's up, brother? <laughs> special teams, special plays, special players. Special teams, special plays, special players, boys. What's up, brother? God damn, kid. Any idea who's Onyx PH captain? No, I have no idea. How the heat index in Indonesia, America, is it also freaking hot? It is freaking hot as shit, dude. It's hot as shit. You can't walk around here. You have to drive your car everywhere, bro. It's hot as shit. It's very, very hot. How's... The yeah. Any idea who's Onyx PH captain? I don't know. WrestleMania 40. Check the newest memes. Uh, no, we're gonna wa we're gonna read to the top. We won't read to the bottom, bro. Like, we need to... You're the you're the eight. Be the bigger person. The eight in question. Gabi, now let's call it to today. It's a day tonight. Today you anger me. <laughs> well, why are you letting them trash talk you? What? I what is that? I have no idea what that is. I what? Why? What is that? Holy shit, that's probably a copyrighted. Okay, we'll skip that. Ooh, MPLIDC in 13.exe. Okay, okay, okay. What do you what do you want to see? Alright, that's the question. And then the, the guy's like, I wanna see Kyrie play Baksha again. <laughs> and they're all saying, should we jump? Should we jump? Should we jump? Yeah. It's the meme, it's the it's the Kyrie Baksha meme. That's funny. That's very good. 
casting any skills in egg Ew, form. You're so lame. I will resurrect soon. La, 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 la. Dude, wrong item choice. What is this? A star will disappear if you lose. They said you are a noob. Take a guess. Is there anyone in that bush? What? What is this? My buddies will revenge me. I, I, I just want to grow up faster. Wait, what is that? I don't understand. What is that? Diggy, diggy voice line. Oh, diggy, huh? Oh, he's muted for certain matches. G, Papa, Mama, what is NT? <laughs> Okay, bro. All right, bro. bro. All right, bro. Bug trap. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, damn. Okay. Content, content, guys. There's a kid that fell. Yeah, dude. So this kid fell, and I decided, you know what? I think you should make. I should. I should record him. I hope he content, doesn't content. Fall over the balcony. <laughs> you know. <laughs> That'll be fun. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, did you see the video of Spider Man's not fist bumping? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, fuck Diggy. All my homies hate Diggy. Fuck Diggy, bro. Yan po, no? Yan! Ganda ng pildite! Fiber! Wow! Alright, we have already seen this. Okay. Oh! Bruh. Oh my god. W man's, I guess. Hey GPT, do this. Haha, ha, made you smile. <laughs> Bro, is this guy? Does this guy want to make everybody mad? Is that it? can't get anything right bro I got demoted to side character the hell wait is there a multiplayer in this game Oh my lord. <laughs> damn. <laughs> damn. Yeah, shit, bro. I'll I'll yeah. God, damn. That's a fucking punch. Okay, this is copyright. I think I, I'm not I'm sorry. Sign him now. Only way to counter Pep and Arteta's four center back terrorist system is, is with terrorists for Osama bin Laden. <laughs> bin Laden is named after Osama bin Laden. Jeez, dude, dude, dude. Explosive young talent. Oh my god. This is Miak. Okay, what is this? All right, we got, we got the. We got H2. And who is this? H2 and who? Who's your best goal laner? Super Mirko. Oh, what the hell? What is this? Is this the one that you guys have been talking about? This is what you guys have been talking about? The, the vlog? What are they talking about here? Why, is there, why are there pictures of me, bro? What, okay, give me context. What is this? Something about dating you. What? You're his type? Whose type? There are two people here. Fake? It's fake? 
She crushes on you. She likes you. Mimia, Mimia likes you. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, they. Okay. It's a game. Smash or pass. Ah, okay. I'm flattered. Thank you. Thank you. But I have grill. I have girl. <laughs> check out my Discord DMs. Check your Discord DMs. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let me just check his DMs real quick. Foxy probably has like a... Like a translated version of this. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Here, guys. Translated. <laughs> Frederick Loho? What is Chinito? What is Chinito, bro? Yes, they got my name right. Frederick Loho. What is Chinito? Intelligent. Wow, they put intelligent there. Handsome and, handsome and intelligent. I like that. Yeah, I am handsome and I am intelligent, bro. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yep. Mature. What? What do you mean mature? What do you mean mature? Mirko has a girlfriend, yes. That's that's true, that's true. Yes. Yes. No, I am not Malaysian. I am Indonesian. Mirko is actually, yeah, I am Indonesian. I am super fresh. What does super fresh mean? Older? How old are you? Wait, hold up. I am I am young, man. Why do they think I am old? I am not old, or maybe they're super young. I am not. I am twenty two. Am I old? They're twenty seven. I'm twenty two. I'm not older. I'm I'm a baby. I'm I'm a kid. You look like you're twenty eight. I ain't taking the slander, chat. I ain't taking the slander. So it's fine for me that he's more mature. Maybe I am more mature, but I am not actually mature. My girlfriend can testify to that. I am a, I am a baby. <laughs> what the fuck, dudes? Is he actually honest? I think I'm pretty honest. You guys think I'm honest? Who dies in hell, bro? Chat slandering Mirko. You look old. Nah, you guys are fucking. You guys are. You guys are fucking. You guys are slandering me. No way I look old, bro. I do not look old. Come on, man. D give me some credit here. I look at my skin. Am I not a young dude, bro? Like the only reason I look old is probably the hair. Like if I cut my hair to, if I shorten the hair again, if I don't have a mullet, I'll probably look younger. Yeah, I am honest, bro. I am very, very honest. What? Guys, what? Well, who are the other choices? What? It, they're talking about choices. Damn! I mean... Is that a flex? Is that a flex? I'll say it's a flex, right? People think I'm handsome. It's a flex. Can we actually approach Mirko to our YouTube channel? I mean, I'm, I'm already reacting to it, so technically. Very mature. I am very mature on broadcast. On stream, <laughs> I don't think I'm mature on stream, bro. On stream, I am 
a, a freaking like child, bro. I am a nerd <laughs> on stream. On broadcast, yeah. I think on broadcast, if you watch the broadcast, you're probably like, damn, this guy's probably old, right? But it, on like... Um, in case Mirko is watching this in English, he's Malaysian. I am Indonesian. I am Indonesian. I am not Malaysian. That's Gideon. I think you might be. Yeah, it's Gideon. Wait. Um, Mirko. Mirko. <laughs> Casting, oh, casting. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, because next time you're gonna shout my name. Oh, damn. Oh my god, indeed. But hey, I, I'm flattered. Thank you so much for thinking that I'm handsome. Thank you for ulti ni Angela. Or yes, but yeah, I uh, disclaimer. I'm I have a girlfriend. But thank you so much. Thank you so much for you know saying I'm handsome. Shit. Thank you. He's 32 on broadcast and 12 on stream. That is perfect. That is perfect. I am 32 on broadcast and I am 12 on stream. Yeah, that's that's it. But yeah, we have now and we, we, we've come to the end of meme review. Oh, wait, this is this is Foxy. Okay, by the way, this is just proof. All right, guys, Foxy won meme review last time. So uh, I gave him the skin that he wants. So yeah, uh, quick little proof there. But that's it. I think we're gonna go down all the way again, and we're gonna choose the meme review winner. I think for me, meme review winner has to be Midas. Is this who is this? Who's my Shadow Murder? Shout out to Shadow Murder for making the, you know, um, OG memes here, making this meme as well. This is very very funny. I think it's very meta as well. So shout out to Shadow Murder. Congratulations for winning the meme review for today. Uh, but yeah, who would you use your hard guard on? Angela is like the BF girl. Okay, you tell me the names and I will say Ultini Angela or or no. I will probably just do two or, you know, a few. I'll just do like three, three names and then I'll say, I don't, guys, my girlfriend's watching. I don't think I can say anything, bro. I don't think so. I don't think I can say anything, bro. Ultini Angela or Ultini Balman. Ah, okay. Midnight. Ultini Balman, bro. I'm not gay. Angeli Kang, AJ Raval. Um, I think I personally would. Th there you go. Yeah. Wolf, Lafell, Gideon, none, bro. <laughs> Minji, oh my god. Minji, Minji, I will ult ni Angela, bro. Oh my god. Minji, Hani, Karina. I'm muted. I know, I know, I'm muted. But yeah, no, no, Minji, bro, Minji, oh my god, Hani, Minji, Heyrin, bro, Ultini Angela, bro, Ultini Angela, oh my, Karina, all that, bro, like, Karina, bro, yes, Karina, yes, bro, Minji, Minji, Heyrin, Hani, Karina, um, yes, yes, yes. I respect preference, but we don't condone home movie. Miracle, please analyze Onyx PH versus Bren and Onyx PH versus Echo. I'll try, man. I'll try. Not Minji. FBI open up. What do you mean FBI? Hani is 20. Hani's 20, bro. Okay? Don't no FBI here. Karina's not underage, I think. Oh, I said Heyrin. Okay, that that we don't talk about. Uh, also, also, there are a few other members. Give me names. Give me names, bro. Mia or Layla? Ooh, Mia or Layla. I'm going to say Layla. I, I, I'm going to say Layla. Layla. Yeah, 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 yeah. I respect that, but One Young and Winter, hands off. Okay, here. Here. I don't want a body shame or anything, 
But it just Won Young is so skinny. I'm concerned for her health. She's a very beautiful woman, but her arms are like sticks. It's very concerning. No hate. But you know, no I'm not trying to body shame or anything, but man, I am concerned. Layla's 15? What? Um No, I'm joking. <laughs> Favorite gold lane player of all time? Favorite gold lane player of all time? Uh, Eman. Eman. Kara bullied Super Marco in laning, bro, and Kara's positioning is second to none. No. I'll, here, okay? Kelra, the way he plays, he doesn't position... Like, his positioning is good. But the way that he's able to outclass all these goal leaders in team fights isn't by the positioning, but it's by how he spaces in these team fights. He's more... His spacing is immaculate, bro. His spacing is legit insane. Kelra has the best spacing in the world, in my opinion, at least from the matches that I've seen. It's because... I don't know. It, it, he just... It, that just comes down to individual talent and individual skills when it comes to spacing. Understanding how far you need to be compared to the others but still being in the way still being in this like in the range of your basic attack but not in the range of the enemy's basic attack to you that is insane you want to play with me Mirko or two papi papi boom valentina or farsa farsa bro farsa looks like she crazy bro honey one one or melissa honey bro nana lilia or Chan okay you shut the fuck up man <laughs> Shonen or Seinen? I have no idea what the Seinen is. Keller versus CW, who you got? Winner gets position in Onyx ID. Individual. Here. This is this is the thing. If you're talking about individual player, I'll have to say Kelra. But if we're talking about who fits in Onyx ID, like, I, even if like if Kelra goes in Onyx, I think he can fit. But I think CW is probably the best gold lane to have for Onyx. Why? Because they already have so many flashy and bombastic players. They need a player who can play it safe. They need a player who doesn't need to be the carry at times. They need a player that to just fill in the role, you know? So that's why CW is perfect for Onyx. He knows when to be the weak side. He knows when to just play in the back, play with the team. I, I'm not saying Kelra can't, but it does seem like it would be a waste of talent if Kelra... Um, doesn't get to have the team give him resources. Yeah. So yeah, Jeb, thank you so much for the two. Oh, yo, Jeb! What's up, bro? From the beautiful beaches here in the Philippines, Jeb! It's been a long time since I saw... Bro, Terizla's getting that epic skin. So, you know, everything that you guys... Uh, that you've been requesting, it's coming true. What's thank up, you so much, Jeb. Here in PH, JP in or Mir Mir Goat? Mir Goat? Me Goat? Milo, Milo, bro. Mil Goat, Milo. <laughs> He's in BTK now. Who you would rather go against? Argus or Freya? Freya. What's up, man? What's up, Jeb? How you doing, Jeb? It's been a long time since I've seen you here on the channel, man. Thank you for coming back and saying hi. I, I, for, I was scared that Jeb might not be watching anymore, you know? <laughs> you watch K-drama? Okay, I have been watching a K-drama because my girlfriend loves Korean drama. And um, she just recently told me that she wants me to watch the show. She thinks it's really good. So I've been watching Queen of Tears. I'll have to be honest with you. Korean drama is just not it for me. Like, I, I, I feel like the writing is pretty bad. I think um, it's very cringe. But this is the this is a Queen of Tears. I, I am getting through it. I actually, like, I can enjoy certain parts of it. The girl is also really cute. That helps, you know. <laughs> What's your view on Onyx PH performance, bro? I think Onyx PH are really good. K-drama, Viva... <laughs> People only watch K-drama for the casts. Yeah, yeah. I think that's that's been the, the main, like, that's also been my, like, reasoning for, for watching it, yeah. Have you seen Physical 100? No, not yet. Watch the Blue-Eyed Samurai. Bro, bro, I'm so sorry. We have I haven't had time at all to watch Blue-Eyed Samurai. Yes, I want to try to, to yeah, Blue-Eyed Samurai. I, I've been saying this for so, dude, Kamran has been, like, telling me to watch Blue-Eyed Samurai for, I think, two, three months now. I will, I will watch it. I will try watching it, okay? But right now, I am occupied by Queen of Tears, okay? 
Once I'm done with Queen of Tears, I'll watch Blue White Samurai. Okay? <laughs> but yeah, okay. I'm going to be ending the stream right here, my dudes. Jeb, thank you so much for the last minute donation, man. I really, really appreciate it. I'm going to give a shout out to everybody who donated today and to everybody who became a member, I believe, for the. Um, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I believe for Super Chat, we have. LJ and Jeb. So thank you so much, LJ. Thank you so much, Jeb. And for the members, we have Jeremiah Jacob. Thank you so much to Jeremiah Jacob. Thank you so much to Joya Luca and Hannah for rejoining 10 days ago. Jihu as well. Shout out to you guys. And now for everybody who's still in the channel, guys, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We will be trying, I'll be trying to upload as much as I can. Jeb again. Yo! Thank you again for forcing the skin, bro. I've been busy here on my vacation, bro. I've been having a hard time too getting signal from these islands. No problem, Jeb. Enjoy your holiday. Um, hopefully your holidays go smooth and yeah, just enjoy it. No worries. No worries at all. And yeah, later, once you're back, I'll see you back on the stream. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much. Thank you, Jeb, again for the donation. I want to shout every single one of you guys in the channel. So leave a comment right now. If you guys want a shout out, shout out to Jeb. Once again, MLBB clips and highlights. We have weird perspective, fate helium. We have Ray Ash, um, bastard junior, sad boy hustle. Chia PJ, Stewie, Vex, YouTube New Rays, Dimas Bayou, Shadow Merger, PJ, Etomak, Foxy Hayes, Rolex, Sir, Sad Boy Hustle, Ako Langto, Yoshi, Zero, God of War, Etomak again, Aisha, Super France, Grandpa Doggo, Fried Chicken. It's not the real one, right? We have Blue Wolf, Gra um, Gervik, Minato, Gaming with DMS. Thank you so much again, Jeb. Thank you again for forcing it's not the real fight. It's not the real fight, guys. Because the real fight has a moderator on my channel. And I think he has a... Fight has a tick mark. Fight has a tick mark on the channel, right? I don't know if that's the real fight, though. I believe Fight Chicken has a tick mark. Yeah, Fight has a tick mark. That's not the real fight, guys. But yeah, peace out, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I will be trying to stream again tomorrow gameplay and also MPL recap will be uploaded tomorrow as well okay so peace out see you guys boom bang bada bing